Have you ever wondered what hypertension really is? Hypertension, also known as high blood pressure, is a common condition that occurs when the force of blood against your artery walls is consistently too high. It's akin to turning up the water pressure in a garden hose. Over time, that high pressure could cause the hose to burst. Now imagine that hose is your arteries, and you can see why hypertension is a concern. Often referred to as the silent killer, hypertension doesn't typically wave red flags or sound alarm bells. It quietly does its damage over time, and before you know it, you could be facing serious health complications like heart disease or stroke. Despite its stealthy nature, hypertension isn't invincible. Armed with knowledge and the right approach, you can keep it in check. So, buckle up and join us on this journey as we dive deep into the world of hypertension. Understanding hypertension is the first step to managing it. But did you know that there's a specific type of hypertension called pulmonary hypertension? That's right, my friends. Pulmonary hypertension is a unique form of high blood pressure that zeroes in on the arteries within your lungs and the right side of your heart. Picture this. Your heart is a tireless machine, pumping blood to all corners of your body. Now imagine if the pipes or arteries in your lungs that carry this blood start to narrow or get blocked. This makes it harder for blood to flow, causing your heart's right side to work overtime, pumping harder to push blood through. This is the essence of pulmonary hypertension. Now, let's talk symptoms. Pulmonary hypertension often starts stealthily, with no apparent symptoms. But as it progresses, you might experience shortness of breath, especially during routine activities like climbing stairs. Fatigue often sets in, making you feel unusually tired or weak. Chest pain is another common symptom, often experienced as a pressure or discomfort in the chest. Other signs might include a rapid heartbeat or palpitations, swelling in your ankles or legs, and even fainting in some cases. It's also worth noting that these symptoms can be quite similar to those of other heart and lung conditions, which is why it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional if you're experiencing any of these signs. Lastly, let's not forget about the potential complications. If left untreated, pulmonary hypertension can lead to right heart failure, which is as scary as it sounds. The right side of the heart can become so weak that it can't pump enough blood to the lungs, leading to a life-threatening situation. With all this being said, the key is awareness and early detection. If you or someone you know is experiencing these symptoms, it's essential to seek medical advice. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding the intricacies of conditions like pulmonary hypertension can help us navigate our health journeys more effectively. Pulmonary hypertension may be less known, but it's equally important to understand. Don't let it be the silent threat in your life. Stay informed, stay proactive, and most importantly, stay healthy. So how is pulmonary hypertension treated? Pulmonary hypertension is a complex condition, and its treatment often involves a variety of drugs designed to target different aspects of the disease. These drugs work in synergy to manage symptoms, improve quality of life, and potentially slow down the disease's progression. First, let's talk about vasodilators. These drugs work to relax and widen the blood vessels in the lungs, helping to reduce the pressure and allow blood to flow more freely. One commonly used vasodilator for pulmonary hypertension is called epoprostenol. It's a potent drug that can significantly improve symptoms, but it needs to be continuously infused through a small catheter in the chest. Next up are endothelin receptor antagonists. These drugs block the effect of endothelin, a substance in the walls of blood vessels that can cause them to narrow. By blocking endothelin, these drugs help to relax and widen the blood vessels, reducing the pressure in the lungs. Bosentan is one such drug that has been shown to improve exercise capacity and delayed disease progression. We also have phosphodiesterase type 5 inhibitors. These drugs, like sildenafil and tadalafil, were originally developed to treat erectile dysfunction. However, they were found to be effective in treating pulmonary hypertension as they also work to relax the blood vessels in the lungs. Then, there are drugs that reduce excess cell growth in the blood vessels. These include drugs like imatinib, 
which is approved for use in other conditions but has shown promise in treating pulmonary hypertension. Finally, anticoagulants are often used to prevent blood clots which can further exacerbate pulmonary hypertension. These drugs, like warfarin, work by slowing down the body's process of forming clots. It's important to note that these drugs are typically used in combination, and the exact treatment plan will vary depending on the individual's specific condition and overall health. While drugs can be effective, they are not the only way to manage pulmonary hypertension. This statement underscores the importance of a comprehensive approach to treatment that includes lifestyle changes and, in some cases, surgical interventions. Are there natural ways to manage pulmonary hypertension? Absolutely. And today, we'll delve into some of those. When it comes to managing pulmonary hypertension, lifestyle changes are key. One of the most important steps you can take is maintaining a healthy weight. Excess weight puts additional strain on the heart, and losing even a few pounds can make a significant difference. Regular physical activity is another important aspect of managing pulmonary hypertension. While high-intensity workouts might be off the table, gentle exercises like walking, swimming, or yoga can help strengthen your heart and lungs without overexerting them. Diet is another crucial component of a heart-healthy lifestyle. Eating a balanced diet that's low in sodium and high in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains can help manage blood pressure and promote overall heart health. It's also a good idea to limit alcohol and caffeine, as these can raise blood pressure. Smoking is a no-go. If you're a smoker, quitting is one of the most effective ways to reduce your risk of pulmonary hypertension and improve your overall health. It's also essential to manage stress. Chronic stress can increase blood pressure and strain the heart. Consider incorporating stress-reducing activities into your routine such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, or even just taking a quiet walk. Regular checkups are vital in managing pulmonary hypertension effectively. Regular visits to your doctor can help monitor your condition, adjust medications if necessary, and catch any potential complications early. And lastly, remember to get plenty of rest. Good quality sleep is essential for heart health and can help regulate blood pressure. In conclusion, while medication is often necessary in managing pulmonary hypertension, lifestyle changes can significantly contribute to better overall health and improved condition management. Living a healthy lifestyle, focusing on diet and exercise, managing stress, getting regular checkups, and ensuring good sleep can all play a crucial role. Remember, a healthy lifestyle can make a big difference in managing pulmonary hypertension. It's about taking small, consistent steps towards better health each and every day. You've got the power to make a change, and every little bit helps. But what is pulmonary arterial hypertension? Let's take a journey into the intricacies of this rare but significant health condition. We've previously discussed pulmonary hypertension, but pulmonary arterial hypertension, or PAH for short, is a specific subtype of this condition. It's a rare type of pulmonary hypertension that primarily affects the arteries within the lungs and the right side of the heart. So, what causes PAH? The exact cause isn't always clear, but it's often associated with certain conditions and factors, such as connective tissue diseases, congenital heart disease, liver disease, and exposure to certain drugs and toxins. Even with these potential triggers, it's important to bear in mind that anyone can develop PAH. Now, let's talk about symptoms. People with PAH may experience shortness of breath, fatigue, dizziness, chest pain, swelling in the ankles or legs, or a racing pulse. These symptoms often start mild and then progressively worsen. It's easy to mistake them for signs of less serious conditions, which is why PAH often goes unnoticed until it's advanced. So, how is PAH treated? Treatment options are tailored to the individual and the severity of the condition. Medications like vasodilators, endothelin receptor antagonists, and phosphodiesterase type 5 inhibitors can be used to relax the blood vessels in the lungs, slowing the disease's progression and relieving symptoms. In severe cases, lung transplant may be considered. It's also crucial to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and avoiding things like smoking and excessive alcohol can all help manage the symptoms and slow the progression of PAH. 
As we wrap up our exploration of pulmonary arterial hypertension, remember this. Knowledge is power. Understanding what PAH is, its symptoms, and potential treatment options, enables us to better advocate for our health and the health of others. As with all health issues, early detection and management of pulmonary arterial hypertension are key. So let's stay informed, proactive, and committed to our well-being. To wrap up, let's quickly revisit what we've learned today. We've journeyed through the complex world of hypertension, understanding that it's a condition characterized by consistently high blood pressure. We then delved into pulmonary hypertension, a specific type that affects the arteries in your lungs and the right side of your heart. We explored the array of drugs that are used in the treatment of pulmonary hypertension, each with its own unique impact and side effects. We also discussed natural ways to manage the condition, from lifestyle changes to dietary adjustments. We then touched on pulmonary arterial hypertension, a severe form of pulmonary hypertension that can lead to heart failure if not properly managed. It's a complex subject, but one that's important to understand, especially for those who are at risk. Thanks for joining us today. Remember, knowledge is the first step to a healthier life.